home. So I uh, recently bought a box trailer because I thought it was a good deal. Uh, show you a photo of it here. Um, so I had to dismantle this big frame that some guy had built over it. It was a uh, it, they turned it, the the uh, trailer into like a caravan so you could take it camping or something. Not for me. I uh, got it home. Had to dismantle it in the, in the front uh, driveway because I couldn't fit it through the garage. Did all that, and now I've found that it's full of rust. So I've got to cut the rust out, treat it, paint it, make it a usable trailer. I think I'm going to end up replacing the bed in this one. So stay tuned. So here it is, the project. You can see there's a bit of rust back here. The bed it was covered up by a bodgy repair. So I pulled that out. Nice little hole here as well. Hello. So yeah, not cool. Um, it's a nice long trailer. It's seven foot by four foot. So it's nice. You can fit a motorbike in there easy. No drama. Too bad. I was lucky that this came all with it. This is underneath the frame that was inside it. But yeah, looking further upon this, look, we've got, got rust in here. This has been bodgy repaired. I'm pretty sure that that's, it goes right through because the repairs here. If I cut this out, which I'm going to in a few minutes, I'm sure I'll find holes everywhere. And the same on the other side as well. So this, this is the floor, that's not, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a big hole there. And we have a look here, we've got the same kind of home repair job. I think the owner just put this over the top and didn't actually cut the rust out, so the rust has grown underneath it, and it's not good. I also have to clean all this up, all this, it's been painted a few times, it's just got a bit of surface rust. And yeah, a couple of things, I repatched the lights because the lights didn't work and the cables were bodgy. Anyway, that's enough complaining, let's get to work. to be able to put your finger through there. Damn. Completely rusted out. Let's check the other side out. Look at this. <laughs> Look on the top. Hello. <laughs> wow, it's pretty significant. Yeah. But the main rails are here and I don't think they're rusted. rusted. So we're okay. The support beams are fine. Yeah, because if they're rusted out, then you've got to replace the whole beam and ugh, it's just Right, well I'll pull this box off and then we'll see what the other repair is down the front. Okay. Need the 
scissors. The scissors. Now that took a bit of effort. I think I might get underneath, mark out where the runners are, the support runners, mark them out with texture, and then just cut it all with a grinder, pull out section by section. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade from these glasses to Colin Fur style ski mask. This seals all around your face and stops the stuff from getting. I'm getting a lot of paint and debris like getting past the glasses. It's giving me giving me problems. Look at this bad boy on there. Oh, everything's got a yellow tinge. This is quite nice. Hey Mike Rowe, if you're watching, this is a dirty job. <laughs> it's not that hot out here, it's probably about 25, 26 degrees. Man, we all have all this gear on. It feels like it's 40 degrees. So if you guys in the States, that's, that's around 100 degrees. It's hot. A bit more to go. More rust in here than I thought. Yeah, rusty. Yeah. When he gets worse. Someone's done their own body repair here. Look, they've cut the rail out. They've replaced it. And then on the other side, they've done a shitty weld job here. Then they've put angle line in here. little beauty and that's right above the axle too so this whole frame has got to get replaced yeah. got lucky though the uh, draw bra here not rusty at all so that's fantastic 
came here. Not rusty. I reckon you'd left this another six months and the rust in the corners would have penetrated this and I would have had to replace the drawbar as well. Yeah, you look here, look more rust here. This whole frame needs to get replaced. you made it to the end thanks for watching my video uh, that's part one if you like what I do remember to hit that subscribe button here somewhere and if you like that kind of thing uh, check out my other videos homemade milling machine over here and uh, custom made kitchen for a caravan custom made over here uh, here's YouTube